Hi everyone, welcome back to Angel's Heavenly Nail. Yo, what is up my peep? Today is special on Angel's Heavenly Nails. Today is outfit of the day. Did you see that? My true passion in life, heavenly nail. Oh, isn't that ring just gorgeous? I know you're getting a blurry version of it, but oh, look at the sparkle. Sorry, everybody. I'm just mesmerized by this ring. I love it. Anyways, I'm coming at you today with a nail design, a bright, beautiful, Hawaiian-looking design. I love this one. Love it. Yes, I use my plates again, and I really want to get back to freehanding. I'm just busy this week, and I still wanted to offer a nail design to you guys and an outfit of the day. I got a great outfit coming with these ones, but they were a lot of fun, and I still did acrylic paints and worked with my brushes going inside those flowers, so it made it look like a painting. It's hard to tell here, but you'll see when you see the video, and you'll see at the end the photos. It's really, really a bright bright neon i love this one so i hope you guys do too i thank you for all the wonderful comments that you guys have left me down in my comment box for my anniversary vlogs i had a lot of fun and i am just in loving this ring and this necklace so but anyways i love you guys thank you for all your love and support again please subscribe and comment and i will see you in my next video let's get started on today's design everyone see you later Hi everyone, thanks for stopping back in. This is what I decided to go with. I hope you guys like it. If you'd like to know how I did this one, then just continue watching. Hi everyone, so let me show you what I'm using in today's design. Isn't this a beautiful color? I love it so much. It's kind of a orangey color, like a bright neon orange, but it's got hints of pink to it and then it's got a little bit of blue too. And I'll show you, it's this one here by the Nina Ultra Pro. And this one is actually called Pearly Brights. And you can see in there, see the blue in there? Oh, it's so beautiful. And then I just top coated everything with my Sesh Vite. And I'm gonna be using my plate again today. I'm having so much fun with it, but I promise you guys, I will get back to doing my freehand art. I just have a lot going on this week and I still wanted to load a nail design and a outfit of the day. So. I'm going to be using this plate, and I'll put that down, the link down in the box. I just got this off of eBay, and I'm going to be using that image. I just want the flower off of there and some of the little swirlies on there, so I'm going to be scraping away anything else, and I'm going to be doing that with the white right here, the funky fingers, and it's just called uh, gesso. Okay. And then through the white, I'm going to be adding some neon yellow and neon pink. Now, the color on my nails is more of an orange. It's hard to tell here, but if you can see right there, see the two different colors of the shades? One's more orange than the, the um, acrylic paint here is a neon pink. And I'll be mixing a little bit of white into those just to give it a little bit, um, so it's a little bit more opaque. So I'll be using the white acrylic paint too. And then I will be adding some rhinestones to it. And I'm debating on if I'm going to do a clear or if I'm going to do a AB Swarovski crystal. So I'm not sure on that. But I will show you that as I get to that point. So I'm going to do a little bit of the art here, a few of the nails, and I'll be back to show you. Okay, so here's what I got going. Some of them I did a little bit more of the image. Some of it I did a little bit less so you could see the fingers, you know, the color of the polish. This one over here, I've got these ones done, and I've left the pointer open. This one here, I messed up the flower a little bit but that's okay because I'm going to be going over with those paints but I'm just going to show you this finger here and here I'm just basically going to get this flower and a little bit of the scroll in there okay so I'm going to pick this image up and then what I'm going to do is here's what I got on the plate 
I'm going to scrape away just a little bit of it because I don't want all this image. I mean, the image is beautiful, but I just basically, on some of them, I was just trying to get the flower. So basically now I just have the flower here and I'm going to put that to the lower end of this finger. Just set it down and roll it on, just like that. Because see, some of them I just wanted to have just basically the flower and some of that scroll. So that's how that's looking right now. Now what I'm going to do is get my palette going of those colors, going to do some of them, and I'll be back to show you. Okay, now look it. Now it's actually making it look more like a painting. I really love the way this turned out. I wasn't sure if it was going to turn out good, but it really did turn out great. Adding the pink and the yellow into there, leaving some of the white open. See, isn't that pretty? So, and then the little flowers there, the real tiny ones, I just put a little bit of pink in there and I'm going to add a little bit of yellow after it dries. So I left this hand open to show you how I'm doing this. I'm just starting with the pink and I'm using this little brush here, my number one. And it's just a liner brush. So I'm going to dip into my pink first and I just go like, about right into the center and I just paint a little bit of pink in there just right like in the middle of the flower and you don't have to be fancy with this just paint just adding in a little bit of pink to the centers of the flower right just and kind of do like a brush stroke when you're doing it just kind of you know go like this and just pull your brush like that okay and then the bottom one that little tiny flower I'm just going to add just a little line of pink into them. Nothing too fancy because it's so tiny. Okay, then my flowers that are already pink there, I'm going to add the yellow now. So I'm dipping into the yellow and I'm going now to the bottom of the flower and just like this and paint your yellow in. And you can go kind of up into the flower too, up into the pink part. Go ahead and overlap those colors. That's fine. And just go like that. Now this is kind of a fun idea for people that want to kind of do some freehand art too because it really does look freehand when you do it this way. See, it's giving the illusion that you did it freehand since uh, the, you know, once you put the paint on, it kind of makes the flower look that way. So then I've got this one done here and I'm gonna add in the yellow into this one. And it's kind of pretty how the colors mix like that. When you add the yellow over into the pink, you get some of that orange in there too. So that's really pretty. And like I said, it gives a look if you see what I'm talking about see that it gives a look now of a painting isn't that cool that's what it does so I'm gonna let this other one dry up over here and then I am going to put the crystals in and I'm going to use these six SS AB crystals so they're multicolor stone and I will be back after that okay so that's what I've got I've got three crystals in the center of the big flowers and they're that AB crystal isn't that pretty and there's such a small stone that I figured I'd put three crystals in so that, you know, you could see them really good because they're really tiny stones. They might even be smaller than a 6S. I think they're a 2M, 2MM, I'm not sure. But anyways, I'm taking that same glue I always use. Let me show you real quick. It's just the Brush on Glue, the Omega Labs USA from Sally's. And I'm just going to take just a tiny little bit on the brush like this and just set it to the center here, just like that. And then I'm just using a Q-tip. I'm going to pick up my stones and just set them right down, right there. One, whoops, two, I lost this little one here, hang on, three, and then I'm just going to just give them a little push to the center just so that they're more centered here and then just push it down into the glue. Make sure that's not overlapping. Sorry if I got my head in the way there. I thought it was overlapping that. Just like that. See, isn't that pretty having the three stones in there? Now I'm going to top coat with my Sesh Vite and I'll be back to show you the end product. All right, I'm all done. And I absolutely love this one. I love how bright it is. I wanted something really bright and fun for the summer since the last design I did for my anniversary was such a dark, you know, dark one being black and nylon-like. But yeah, this one's really fun and colorful and beautiful. Um, yes, I worked with my plates again and I wanna get back to 
doing freehand work, but I had a lot of stuff going on this week and I still wanted to do a nail design and an outfit of the day. So this is what I went with and I used um, acrylic paint so it kind of still looks like a painting. I'm happy with that and I love that I put the little stones in it and everything. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Thank you for all the wonderful comments on my anniversary vlogs. I appreciate that and thank you for all your guys' support. I will see you in my next video, everyone.